Five years ago, 23 Michiganders died after receiving tainted steroid shots in one of the worst pharmaceutical disasters in U.S. history. On Monday, the man who owned the company that made the bad drugs goes before a federal judge for sentencing. Local force Rod Maloney is live with the widow of one of the victims and what she plans to say to the man. Rod, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly. I hold in my hand here a copy of the victim impact statement that Penny LaPerriere is going to read in federal court come Monday morning. And she told me that she's been so anxious about this. She hasn't slept in the last 24 hours. So concerned is she about what she's going to say and to whom she's going to say it. But rest assured, the theme here is she has a broken heart and her life will never be the same. But when I went into that room and saw him laying there, I was just... I lost it. It was so painful. Penny LaPerriere's last memories of her husband remain fresh five years on. Two weeks before, 60-year-old Lynn LaPerriere, a super stock drag racing champion and GM skilled tradesman, received his annual injection for bulging discs. Balance troubles and crushing headaches sent him to the hospital where he died of fungal meningitis. It was so preventable. A jury found this man, Barry Cadden, former CEO of the now defunct New England Compounding Center near Boston, guilty of wire fraud and racketeering. He'd still be alive if it wasn't for him. The jury did not find Cadden guilty of murder. I'm telling him he destroyed my family and Lynn's family. Penny will speak at Cadden's sentencing Monday. He needs to go to jail and pay for what he did. Then there will be some just rewards for Lynn dying, I guess. He needs to pay for what he did because he knew what he was doing was wrong. Prosecutors are asking for 35 years in prison. He never said he was sorry, you know. Um, and I just think he thinks he could get away with it. Now, Penny said that she has been in the process of slowly rebuilding her life, and she seems to be doing okay. That's what she told me. She said she's bonded very closely with the families, uh, particularly of the Michigan victims of this, the people who died and also the people who lived and went through this horrifying experience. And she said that she absolutely hopes that he gets the 35 years the prosecution is asking for because essentially she says he deserves it. Back to you. And if he does, do you think, uh, Rod, that will give her some closure regarding her husband's death? I know she'll still have a broken heart, as you mentioned, but right. do you think it'll give her a little closure? It'll give her some closure, but here's the problem. The, the Cadden was the CEO and the co-owner, but there's another guy, the head pharmacist, who is now going to go on trial, and he's charged with 25 counts of murder, second-degree murder, much like Cadden was. And so it's likely she may have to testify uh -huh. in that case. So she may have to go through this all over again. And she even says in here that she has to relive this over and over with all of these trials, and it gets more painful every time. Yeah, tough. Okay, Rod, keep us posted. Thank you.